Hi, my name is Laura Turner and I'm the Executive Director for the Health Professional Student Association. I want to talk to you today a little bit about situational judgment tests and how they're being used in medical school and other health professional school admissions. So first, what are situational judgment tests? Situational judgment tests are tests that give you a realistic hypothetical scenario, usually one that has some form of conflict in it between two individuals or between individuals and an organization or between multiple organizations. And then you need to determine the best response to that situation and how best generally to resolve that conflict. You'll either be able to provide a free form response where you describe what you would do to manage the situation, or you will be provided a list of potential responses. And then you choose which of those are going to be more effective ways to deal with the situation or less effective ways to deal with the situation. And the test can be administered in a couple of different ways. You can either get a video that shows a situation or shows a skit, basically, of a potential conflict or something in writing where you're reading basically a story that describes a situation that you need, that need to then respond to. So why are we seeing situational judgment tests pop up now for admissions? They are psychological tests, and the goal of them is to try and quantify some of the non-academic or people skills that historically were always managed through interview processes or by meeting with someone. They're trying to get at, do you have those competencies in the soft skills that are so important for being a successful health professional? Things like your conscientiousness, or your service orientation? Do you have a natural affinity to helping others and serving others? Those are the kinds of things that you are going to learn or demonstrate on your situational judgment test. So what schools are using situational judgment tests? There's a growing number of schools that are choosing to use these tools as part of their admissions decision. There are six schools in the 2021-2022 medical school admission cycle that have been using the AAMC situational judgment test. And there are a variety of different health professional schools that are using the CASPER test, which is administered by Altius Assessments. So what's the AAMC situational judgment test? It's administered online. You're given a number of different scenarios, 30 scenarios. And for each of those scenarios, which are all text-based, you are provided a number of different potential responses to those scenarios. And you have to indicate whether the response identified is going to be more effective or less effective as a way of dealing with the situation. The score you receive back from this will be provided to both you and the medical schools that you identify. And it's a numeric score, a confidence band, and a percentage. CASPER is another common test that is done for some medical school admissions as well as other health professional schools. It is also administered online. There are 12 scenarios that are included that can be either text-based or a video. And for each one, you have three questions that are provided for the scenario that you need to respond to with free form text. And you have about five minutes per scenario to develop and type up that response. Unlike with the AMC test, you don't get an actual score from the CASPER test. You just get your score quartile. Each of the different scenarios is rated by a different rater. So they're trying to do that to eliminate bias, but you don't get the actual score. Only the schools get your actual score for the CASPER exam. Hopefully that's some useful information for you as you start to prepare for admissions. We wish you the best of luck on your admissions journey. We invite you to check out some of the other resources available on the studentdoctor.net and we hope you have a great rest of your day. We hope you have found this video helpful. 
If so, please like and subscribe to the Student Doctor Network YouTube channel. For more helpful articles and information, please head over to the Student Doctor Network website at studentdoctor.net.